how close to you, because we were talking about the hair, is Russian Doll? Can you talk to us about this show that is so well respected, so well loved, critically received, you know, nominations? Yeah. What do you think it is as like the creator of it? Thanks, Drew. Also, just thank you. Um, it's true. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting thing. I mean, I'm always very moved that they even give us, you know, like the money to go investigate these these big questions. You know, there's this uh, Victor Frankel book. Uh, Man's called, Search for Meaning? Man's Search for Meaning. It's my favorite book. Yeah, so, uh, so I remember like bringing that into the the writer's room on the, the first day of the first season and saying like, all right, so this, but half hour comedy. Uh, there's, <laughs> you know, but I guess the stuff that I draw on is almost more uh, parable or sort of life experience or uh, almost like s a spiritual experience in a way. It's, it's oddly almost a theological show except by way of science as opposed to theory. And I, I'm so curious about things. Uh, namely, the first season is really asking the question, you know, how do I stop dying? And the second season is really asking the question, how do I go about living? Uh, See, that is yeah. so cool! <laughs> how do I go about dying? How do I go about living? Yeah, so, so yeah, I was really curious about that. So you can read these books, you go to the yoga classes and you hear about Ram Dass and you go to the shrink and they tell you, you know, just be here now. And, you know, the thinking, feeling person really says, but how? Yeah. And I, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, now we can actually explore let's, that. Let's dig into those questions and see what we find. Well, I think now I know why it's such a success. Um, and um, I just love you for exploring those subjects and for your honesty and your journey and your curiosity, as you so brilliantly put, that's so apt. Um, and um, I'm just so happy and excited for the success of whether it's the Orange is the New Black and your life and the show. And I just, I'm so happy for you and I'm so excited for season two. How do we start living? I love that question. It's so profound. It really is. And I'm ready to. I'm ready to. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready, Liz, I'm ready, in baby. all these new ways. I love getting older. By the way, growing oh, up is not oh overrated. Oh my God, it's the greatest. Oh my is it God, not the best. What a what a false bill of goods. They're like, oh, be careful. Because it's the best up here. I completely yeah, agree. I know. I only get better and better. I was yeah. such an idiot yeah. back then. Oh. I had fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was sometimes. Fun. Sometimes. Not everybody's idea of fun. Yeah. I had a great time. Yeah. I don't regret a thing, but God, I love growing up oh, and getting older. It. Do you know what's a real sign of, for me of getting older too? I, my perfect afternoon or evening is like hanging out either with friends or by yes. myself, but I, with my kids, I've always got the crossword with me. Ooh, and I, I heard you're a crossword. crossworder. Uh, that's my whole life. I oh. love the crossword. Uh, all I care about the cross, oh. I built one for the New York Times. You built I a built crossword? I built with a wonderful woman, Deb Amlin. We, we built it together. Yeah, it was well, incredible. Will you? You should make a crossword. I would love to make yeah. a crossword. And I'm very excited because I'm going to work with this guy, Matt Gaffney, Oof. who does the um, Week magazine and the New Yorker. And he's doing um, a crossword for our next issue of a magazine I started called Drew. It has my name on it. Ugh. Um, <laughs> but, um, but the content sounds terrific. But the... the, the um, He's gonna do the crossword. It's like meeting your Marvel superhero. Yeah. It's like Thor's in the other room and you get to meet yeah. him. So, I, but will you do a crossword with me? Oh, this would be a dream.